<clears throat> Hello everybody and welcome to your next uh, Allegro tutorial and in this one I'm going to be showing you about mouse um, about how to use a mouse and I'm going to um, split up the mouse videos into different parts because the mouse has a lot of neat features and cool features and I just don't want to jam them up into one video you know what I mean I want to separate it so then you can know in depth what each part of the mouse can do so this one I'm just going to show you how to display the mouse on the screen and I'll show you a little thing where you can make a program um, with the mouse like a little game thing with the mouse but it, this isn't intended to be as a long tutorial but if it gets out of hand it might be kind of long but it's not meant to be long so let's get right into it so long time ago well not that long but like when we were starting I told you to install the mouse and we'll be using it later so if you don't have this make sure you put install mouse because that's what you need to in order to use mouse routines in Allegro so for my last tutorial for my last few tutorials I think my for my gravity tutorial I think so set to 10 or whatever so set X and Y to 300 that's what I did in this tutorial and let me put this up so basically how you need to be able to locate the mouse's position right so Allegro has that built in so the X um, coordinate for the mouse is mouse underscore X so make sure you don't name a variable a mouse underscore X that's a variable for the X coordinate of the mouse and you have mouse underscore Y and they have mouse Z or Z for Americans um I think this is that you're doing 3D programming but we're not doing 3D programming with Allegro yes it is possible to do 3D programming with Allegro but it is not recommended you can use OpenGL with Allegro but it's best not to so we're not gonna get into that stuff or I might get into it later on but really not right now so you have your mouse X and your mouse Y and if you notice when you run any Allegro um, program, so if I run this program right here, doesn't do anything, it just shows a red box. You notice that it does not show the mouse on the screen. The mouse disappears, right? So we have to have a function to be able to show the mouse. So if I go like this, so if I put this routine show underscore mouse and where I want to show it so I want to put in the buffer and when I run the program you see the mouse on the screen which is pretty cool and this is the Allegro default mouse now if you want you can change the default mouse but that's for next tutorial so I'm not sure if you de declare outside the while loop if it will show I doubt it because you'll re-blit in the buffer, but let's test this out to see if it'll work. But most likely I don't think would work. And yeah, it shows up for the first few seconds and disappears. Right? So make sure it's inside your while loop. Now we're gonna make this little program just to make this rectangle uh move. So I'm gonna just gonna make a if statement and we're not um in the gravity tutorial remember how we had velocity x and velocity y well I'm not gonna do that in this tutorial so I'm gonna put if mouse underscore x is greater than x then x plus equals one and else if mouse underscore x is less than x let me move this cursor then x minus equals 1 so if the mouse is on the, to the left of the screen then um, and the box is on the right of the screen the box will move towards the mouse so basically we want our square to move towards the mouse then we're going to put if mouse underscore x uh, mouse underscore y is greater than y then y plus equals 1 else if mouse 
underscore y is less than uh, y then y minus equals 1 and uh, the reason why we did it like this is because we put the reason why I put if and else if just for the mouse x and y because if the mouse isn't greater than x that means it must be less than or equal to x right so do this one now that doesn't occur for this so we, if we just put all else ifs then the box won't be able to move diagonally so we want it to be able to move diagonally so we have to put it in this format right or if we put it in all if statements or whatever but in this format it'll, it'll work and then basically we're saying if the mouse is greater than y so if it's lower on the screen then the y will plus equals 1 will move towards the mouse and if the mouse is high up on the screen then the y coordinate then it will move towards the mouse so if we run this program So you see the box moving towards it, wherever I move it, it moves towards it. And you see it's moving slow because I said to move into one, but wherever I move it, it moves towards it to mouse. And once it reaches it, it stops and it moves towards the mouse. And that's it. so you can make a little game from this. Now if you notice, if I put like plus equals five, or I, like if I put five for all these values, Oh, sorry, forgot the semicolon. If you notice, it got kind of goes up and down jaggedy because if you do, I put right here, if if it's greater than x, then plus equals five. If I like, I put it if it's greater than plus, um plus equals, and if it's less than, so then when it's adding five. Right, when I add five to it, then it's then um mouse x is less than x, so then it's subtracting five, then it's adding five and subtracting five and blah 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 and that's why it's so jaggedy. You can use if statements and stuff to like to change that, but I'm not gonna show you that. I'm gonna let you figure that um out on your own because I don't wanna do everything for you. You have to develop some problem solving skills. So, anyways, this is the, um, the first tutorial on mouse routines, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you look forward to the next tutorial. So thanks, and bye.